Hi. I made something, and somebody thought it was cool enough for me to talk about it. I made it out of spite. I was angry. And I think the best time to code is when you're angry, because you're just like, you're in it. You're in it to win it. So how many of us have done this and gone here? Or you maybe typed in users, or you typed in email templates. There's been a time, especially when I'm working on a lot of Flow projects, where I typed in maybe Flow like 100 times. So I was working on other stuff, maybe integrating with Flow or something like that. Well, I made a Chrome extension to add tabs over here. Because I, I don't know why they don't exist. I, and if we click on this, that's, that's the whole reason. That's, that's what it's called. Why? Why? So in, my, in my rage, one night, I created this extension. All you need to do, type in whatever the tab name is, hit save, and if you refresh the page, give it a second, and it loads. Boom. It just, that's all it is. That's the end. All right, see, see everybody later. Uh, no. In actuality, right, like, th this is the reason I made it. Right, and hopefully Salesforce catches the eye of this a little bit. Right, this has been sitting out here since um, 2019. Only has a couple votes, so go vote for it because my implementation is probably not the correct way to do it. But the overall of why I did this, will chat GPT takes over, is I Googled how to make a Chrome extension, and this wonderful guide comes up, and you start following it, and you start making a Chrome extension. So what does that actually look like? Well. My Chrome extension. Um, there's a couple things you need, and it gives you all of this stuff in the guide as you go through. Uh, but you need a manifest, which basically tells like the name, some permissions you need, the description of your Chrome extension, all of that good stuff, right? Then you get to the meat of it. Oh, real quick. There's also, you gotta tell it where it needs to start, because you don't want, you generally don't want your Chrome extension running on every page unless you're doing something weird. But for me, you gotta give it something to match on. So it's looking for the setup page with all these keys around it, and then it runs this content JS. So the, the content JS is the meat and potatoes of the, the actual code that's running. And once again, never written a Chrome extension. I do a lot of LWC, I'm, I'm a developer. Um, it, I, so there is, I, I know a little bit of JS, right? But with working on you know, different projects, you can expand the things that you know and start writing different things, and maybe you can, your Salesforce work will get better for it, or you can just build something fun. So, what I kind of figured out as I pair is kind of uh, go into the tabs and the, ti the, the tab titles and the URL that you want to store. And then all this does is it looks for whenever that little tab bar, the setup bar, comes into play. Whenever it gets created, it adds the additional tabs to the end of it. So if, if you're familiar with a little bit of JS, I use a template literal to just add another list item, another element in those tabs because two of them already exist in the home and the other one. And all I do is in the play. If you see, as I refresh the page, there's gonna be a delay when this tab bar, the setup bar actually loads. And JS thinks the page is done loading kind of when everything finishes, but Salesforce just shoots some stuff in there. They're doing their own magic. They're, they're loading it on their own terms. So it thinks it's, it's done kind of there, but it's not really done until a couple seconds later. So I did a very janky way. It's my code, right? I just added a, a delay in there for a couple seconds to, to add some time in so that after we can finally find the setup, the, the setup tab at the top, um, then we're going to initialize our code and finally inject our own HTML into this. Um, and then, as I started working on this a little bit more, I just, I just put it out there. Some people asked, hey, can, you, can I customize the tabs that we're working with, right? I put in for myself the flow and the user little tabs on there, but people want other stuff, and that makes sense, right? So uh, now it's my baby, I've gotta work on it. So I've, I've added the addition of this little pop-up area over here where you can add whatever you want, right? So users and, and you can add an entire website um, in there and it'll go to that website. So one that's really fun is like sandboxes, right? PS test dot test.salesforce.com. So we hit that, hit save, we refresh the page, 
that tab is going to appear there now, and you can click on it. Works great. So kind of rounding things out, here's all the code on how that, for the most part, works. Um, but the, the main thing that I kind of want to get across is, you know, there's all these different ideas that a lot of people have that they can work on, they can do, and just give it a try. You'll learn something new as you go across. If you want to find the extension, you can search for it at Y Salesforce, and there's a GitHub repo. You can destroy all of my code and help me make it better. And that's all I got. <laughs>